Hey there and welcome, Sam Bisnick here, Release Muscle Therapy, and today we're going to do a quick review of the Merrick Recumbent Exercise Bike. Now the reason why I'm going through this is because in my office I have been looking for a recumbent exercise bike for clients, something that doesn't take up a whole lot of space, and of course something that is simple, easy to put together, and of course I want it to be quiet um, because I don't like loud pieces of equipment. So the Merrick Recumbent Bike was a really, really good fit and I wanna go through some of the specifics here on my review and what I think about the device, and hopefully that can help make you an informed decision. Okay, so when we got the box, first and foremost, it is relatively easy to assemble. It took about 20 minutes to put together. It was already kind of partially assembled, which was awesome. And um, just a few major pieces here. Now, the things that are probably most important to me, as I mentioned a few seconds ago, is that it needs to be easy to put together for people because people don't like to get pieces of exercise equipment that will just sit in the corner because they don't wanna put it together. So it is really easy to put together. Uh, the second thing is footprint. It should not take up a tremendous amount of space. As you probably are aware that when you go to the gym and you get a recumbent bike, the thing is oftentimes humongous. Of course, it's very expensive. Some recumbent exercise bikes could be $3,000, okay? Especially with one of these professional lines. And a lot of people, that in, is not doable, uh, financially feasible, but also it's just overkill for what you need. So this is really something that is going to be utilized at home. And in particular, it's got such a small footprint that it's easy to put in your living room, or of course, in my context, in a therapy office, and it doesn't take up a whole lot of space. And of course, it's not obnoxiously loud. So because you can watch television or you can do other tasks, you can read while you're doing it. So footprint is really small on this. It has a lot of individual features in terms of like the electronics, so we'll cover that in a second. But I wanna go through some of the key features here. So it's got the nice seat here, easily cleanable. And one of the things that's always a concern is the user size. So number one, this will tolerate up to 300 pounds. Uh, so it'll accommodate most users and also height. And something to keep in mind, I'm six foot three, so a lot of pieces of equipment feel like they're made for much smaller people. So I'll show you that this is a very nice fit for me. So make sure I'm on camera here. So it has the wheel attachment underneath here. It could be slid forward and backward. And of course, the selection for a recumbent bike is oftentimes most helpful for people with um, compression or pinching in the hip joints so they can't sit at a 90 degree angle too comfortably. So we obviously want to be sitting back as much as possible. So this is very helpful. In addition, the knees, the closer you're slid forward, the deeper the knee angle is when you pedal. That can obviously be very uncomfortable. So moving the seat back is very, very important. So I didn't put the foot attachments on here. These come with it. And because my foot is very large, I find it just faster to stick my foot on the pedal but some people will like to use these and those are included. So you can see here that at six foot three, how big I am and when I pedal, that at this point, the maximum degree of knee bend is just slightly less than 90 degrees, but I can move this back even further, okay? So it's comfortable as I'm pedaling, okay? And I feel seat is comfortable. Handles are a great benefit here. You can always stick your hands there. There is a handle up here, although I find that most people are not gonna be holding on to this handle when they're doing the recumbent bike, it's more there to help yourself up when you're done. So obviously that is very useful as well. So as we are pedaling, okay, I'm actually pedaling here. I'm sure you could probably not hear this at all, but because it is magnetic, magnetic resistance, it is whisper quiet. And that is obviously very important. So that way you can exercise late at night, not wake anybody up. It doesn't rumble, it doesn't move around a lot. The machine is very steady with the base, which is awesome. And of course, it does have a small knob in the middle for floors that aren't exactly very level. We can prop it up as necessary by turning the dial to get it to level itself out, okay? There is a resistance knob right here. Obviously, it'll go all the way down to virtually no resistance, okay? Which would be number one. Hardly any resistance at all. Great for just pumping without any loading. And we can go up quite a bit on this to level eight. Now level eight is not going to present a tremendous challenge, okay? So if you're looking for something that's really gonna push you to do high intensity interval training and so forth, 
it's probably not going to be the bike for you because you're going to want that resistance to go up much higher. But if you're doing rehab exercise or you're just trying to improve mobility, low level endurance, just increase your activity levels, then this is going to be just fine for you. Okay, so we have those options. Outside of that, mechanically, everything is fairly straightforward. There is a water cup holder if you need that there. There is a little spot here to put your phone. And then we'll talk about some of the settings that are actually on the electronic platform. So the electronic um, dashboard is pretty straightforward. You have reset, of course, where you can reset all of the data in there. There are different modes. So we could put it on the pulse. Of course, we can take a look at the amount of time. We can scan. Of okay, course, so these are different options in which you'll be using with the app that comes with it. Of course, checking your speed and your distance. Okay, we can also take a look at how many calories estimated we've expended. Okay, so there's a couple of different options and settings here as well. So what we'll do is we'll take a look at the app real quick, but I just wanted to show you that the dashboard is pretty simple to manage and it is operated by a couple of um, batteries that are included with the unit. Okay, so when you sign up for the app, actually this is pretty much what it looks like. You can click on any of the devices. It will sync any of the ones that you have from the brand. There are different classes and so forth that you can take, which is pretty cool. Different types of workouts and of course training and information. So it's always nice to be able to sync up the data from your device onto uh, an iPhone and so forth so that you could get access to a lot of different additional features and track improvements over time. So that is a nice little bonus here. So I do recommend that you check out the app as well. Okay, so that about wraps it up. So overall gets a good recommendation from me, especially if you need some type of financially feasible option for a recumbent bike that you're gonna put in the home, uh, low footprint, and it's put together quite well. Doesn't have a whole ton of bells and whistles, but has exactly what you need. So as always, I'll include a link to the product down below so you can click through to get access to that, take a look. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below this video. If you like these review videos and you wanna see more of them, of course, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button, and of course, subscribe to the channel so you can get notified of future videos. So Sam Visnick here, Release Muscle Therapy. Thanks for watching.